we had a, a, a contest at the public broadcaster I, I work with in, in Belgium about creating music with AI. Uh, I know there's a lot of tooling out there. We have now um, AI used to fingerprint music uh, to help you discover music, meaning that it's it's not going to be easy to uh, because it's an algorithm that will determine what you get. Uh, look at what Spotify does on the recommendation level. How do you see that? Uh, uh, what as a musician do you need to know or understand about those new, um, well, fears that a lot of people have that uh, because you can right. make music with AI if you want. <laughs> well, I but think that's an interesting, <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting, uh, again, a, a new interesting wave. I think that's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. And again, if we, if we, base all our business on writing music for TV or for documentaries or sometimes even for commercial, well, I think that's going to be the next big disrupting wave because, uh, I mean, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but in the next few years, I mean, uh, there are definitely computer models that can recreate pretty convincingly uh, different styles of music, especially styles that are fairly generic, things like you would use in a music library, for example, right? Um, which are used in, you know, a big percentage of, you know, documentaries and TV series and so on, uh, commercials and um, so uh, so that's that's um, you could see, look at that as a worrying, uh, you know, a wave, but but again, I think we have to look at the positive side, right? So again, if that's going to happen, how can we um, help? <laughs> you know, how can we be on the side? Uh, where we can provide a service for these companies from this new software. And I think, you know, most of these um, uh, models, uh, no matter what, in order to create the, the actual music, they will always need uh, the basic elements of that music to be created, right? So they will need uh, maybe a library of phrases, a library of uh, harmonic progressions, a library of sounds from which the eventually the computer will, will pick and will uh, match to create different styles, right? Um, um, there are already software where, you know, I think we were talking about it the other day where, uh, you know, you, a, a movie director or could just choose a cue based on, you know, um, how romantic you want it, how scary you want it, you know, if you want it uh, th more thick or less thick or, you know, more modern or less modern. Or, so, uh, but, but the basic elements still need to be um, fed uh, by a musician, right? So the the, the basic uh, building block, they're still, you know, human created, um, the, and and also, I mean, these companies need uh, consultants, right? I mean, uh, because you know, um, what makes a cue scary or versus uh, happy versus sad versus romantic, right? So um, usually, um, probably a, a software engineer wouldn't be the best person to to make those calls or to find out what they are, are the nuances are to then make a cue in a certain way. So I think uh, I, the roles of new mus you know, younger musicians uh, would be to uh, not only to have the musical skills, but also have the technical skills. And again, the um, communication skills to talk to uh, software engineers to, to create these things. Uh, you know, I know many people that join Apple uh, you know, from the musical type of um, team, right, to um, to help understanding, you know, how uh, logic, for example, can be improved. Uh, you know, so all those new jobs, or not those new uh, opportunities are available. You know, of course, the training is to be um, targeted to include also some sort of, uh, you know, uh, basic engineering uh, knowledge, but, but these are all jobs for musicians, right? That that yeah. if they are open, yeah. uh, they can. Have... I think you touch a very interesting subject. Eh? It's actually um, what you see is that the, the 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 different roles we are used to looking at, eh? where you have a, a producer who's uh, who's producing, and it's all merging more and more together, uh, and and you will have people who will be between uh, the music and the IT, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and those roles haven't defined been defined yet. Um, for instance, yeah. uh, uh, Museo it's a it's a fingerprinting tool, 
Hazel is, is the CEO. She was very um, uh, into uh, music. She used to work at Shazam. Uh, mm -hmm. And she took it from there. But she's a musician at heart. Right. Eh? Right. So, but yeah. she learned the skills of not being afraid of the technical side and trying to yeah. to to combine. I I, I completely uh, I I agree. Yeah? Um, yeah. So, but it's the again looking at what is the wave that will be there. Um, and I always always say to anyone, we all start from scratch because if it's a completely new wave, it means you can jump on the wagon. Uh, right. because it's it's ground zero for everyone to start from right. uh, you all start at, at 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 the at the start point right. with the same skills and it's it's you can reinvent yourself huh? it's, a, right. it's a it's indeed i haven't looked at it in the music business it's an interesting um point to look at now um i'm just i'm just uh, looking at uh, my my checklist uh i think we already touched uh, touched a lot there eh? um how do you yeah so we, we touched the creativity do you see um do you see because we talked about m musicians do you see within the different um uh, people playing do you see a difference between the, the contemporary music musicians and the really very uh, people who are very classical skilled do, do you see mm -hmm. there a, a big difference or a big um well i mean there's always been you know um a, a little bit of a divide right between different uh educations <laughs> like in music so i studied you know, jazz music <laughs> and provide <Right>. <laughs> but but uh but i see that now these are really really blending more and more which is i think is a great thing yeah. i mean to me to me the, the the best thing these days is to see musicians that uh you know they're classically trained but they're playing with jazz musicians that but they're playing and with including world instruments and harmonies and rhythms from you know the middle east i mean to me that's the one of the best thing that is coming out from all this globalization of of uh, you know of, of of music i mean uh, one thing I, I love about berkeley is that we have students from uh, all over the world and you literally you know walk down the hall and in a practice room you hear you know uh, uh, uh arabian instrument uh, with the uh, electric guitar and you know uh, african percussion and 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 uh, you know Korean singer, you know, and it's like the music that comes out of that is amazing. And, and there's a lot of cross pollination between different departments. And so different, you know, um, backgrounds, like so quote unquote, the classical ones with the electronic ones with the more contemporary and commercial ones. So, um, so I think those divides are, are more blurred. Um, and I think it's still important, though, to keep your uh, originality, right, your, your unique voice in order to, again, stand out, right? So you, yeah. you were talking about it before. How, how can somebody stand out between all this, quote, unquote, noise or, you know, um, crowd? Um, and it's just originality. You know, have your own voice. I mean, follow what, what's true to you, uh, both as a player, as a performer, as an artist in general. I think there's when when somebody is true to himself or herself when, when they create music or or any type of art um things are gonna happen yeah you know uh if you don't feel that that's you um no matter what even if you're trying even if they ask you to recreate somebody that's music right sometimes it happens right when they give us a temp track and things like that uh no matter what though you need to feel that you are contributing in a unique way and if, if you do that things are going to happen. Yeah. I was just wondering how, because, yeah, I come from an, an, an image background. Eh? Uh, how, in, in, how, in, how do you see that involving? Because do you feel that, that video is becoming more and more important as a skill, as a musician? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's, these days, your music doesn't exist if there's not a video attached to it. Yeah. You know, that's that's just the reality uh, because of YouTube, because of uh, just we are in a very visual, uh, you know, um, environment. And um, uh, if, if, if there's nothing visual attached to it, it's 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 hard. I'm not saying that it's, it, it, 
you know it doesn't exist but you know it, it exists but it's 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 harder to have a, a younger generation relate to it yeah. um and also it's harder to um again to have uh followers and to have people following you and so yes a, a, a visual element is really really important i mean there, there are a few exceptions right i mean but um especially now that live performances are uh you know uh, due to the pandemic are less uh you know uh, less available uh the the the, the visual thing is is huge you yeah. know we want to that's how we relate to the artist right it's how we we see a live performance on youtube or but it's rare i mean i i do it because i love music and i still put a record you know on and there's no no screen on it but uh but i can see the younger generation that's uh, less and less um, an okay, option yeah. you know so yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's something we, we we might not always think about when we talk about about music. Yeah? And that's and that's again that's where collaboration is great. You know, uh, I mean, again, for somebody that starts now, I would highly recommend you know uh, hooking up with the videographer and say, well, okay, I I I do the music. You know, please put a video on this, and we're, we're going to advertise it as as a team, and we put it on YouTube. And now suddenly you have a team that can provide. You know, either visual to music or music to visual, or sometimes both if somebody needs it. You know, um, but that collaboration, as you mentioned, it's a big, big element. Yeah, and if you then take the leap up front and you use uh, AI and and visual and immersive, and then take it to the next level, you know, right. who knows where you where you might end up with it. Eh? Right. Yeah. Uh, and and also, I think there's more industries than than the classic one, gaming industries also uh also also needs music and and uh, and background sounds and so i think it's indeed keeping keeping your eyes open to to whatever is out there. and the next wave i will remember that i think that's a nice quote now i wanted to check with you because um i think we covered the, we covered a lot um what would you because i have after this, the five questions I ask in short yep. to, to Tim, mm -hmm. what would you what would you say? Um, uh, because I give you the last word of of this uh, this session to someone who's who's listening out there and feeling a bit like, okay, what's next? Uh, um, what would you say to them? Well, I would say that again, be positive. I mean, things. Again, if 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 there's no other things that you can do, right? So th this, if you mu if music or arts or you know whatever arts you're you're into uh, is the only thing that you want to do, things are gonna work out because you're gonna have passion. And if there is passion and you uh, acquire or have already the skills, things are gonna work out. These are gonna happen. Um, be f uh, flexible. Be um, uh, be able to to provide different services uh, to you know different type of clients. Um, try to be um, always positive in terms of like working with other people. Uh, that's that's a big skill um, you know that you have to acquire if if not if, if because you can be the best uh, you know bass player in the world, but if you're not nice and and people don't want to work with you, this this is not going to happen. Um, and again, and just look at your life, your career as a lifelong career. To me, that's the, the key point. It's you need to be versatile. You know, try to be versatile. Be open to new things that that you might not even have considered before. Uh, be uh, receptive to new things. Be receptive to inputs, but always, of course, from a, from with with a very. Um, you know, not, not giving up your 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 own personality, your own creativity, your own your own your your own angle when it comes to creation, right? So you need to keep that going. And as you said, always look for the next wave, see what's going to happen, uh, talk to peers, find a mentor. I mean, absolutely, you know, find a mentor, find some peers that you can talk to, find a peers that you can meet meet up with, um, and get some inspiration from them. And if possible, start a team. You know, absolutely. Start a team, start working. Could be a team of two or three, four people, but that's to me is crucial. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. 
I'm definitely looking forward to the to the the 20 minute sessions. People who want to dive into the iPad, they can then you know all the people yep. say, ah, oh, I don't believe it. Uh, that's that's where they need to be. <laughs> And I have the 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 uh, the five uh, questions. So, mm -hmm. uh, and Andrea, thank you so much uh, for taking the time. And I know it's uh, uh, well. You might have a president next time we meet. Eh? <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs>